is Cynthia Hall, and I'm Community Coordinator for NASA's Earth Science Data Systems Program. Our program wants to make sure you have everything you need to access the petabytes of free and open Earth Science data from NASA. We want to help Space Apps COVID-19 participants, like yourself, understand how NASA Earth Science data can be used in developing innovative solutions related to the pandemic. There are data that can be used when investigating changing environmental impacts from modified human behavior patterns, the possibility of seasonal trends in virus transmission, and water availability. Our new COVID-19 Data Pathfinder is a resource providing an intuitive means to find and use NASA data. At earthdata.nasa.gov in the Learn section, there are numerous resources to help you get started, from background information, data pathfinders, and toolkits which provide links to webinars, data recipes, and much more. Today, we're going to focus on our data pathfinders. The COVID-19 Pathfinder has information to aid in the space app's challenges of documenting the local to global environmental changes caused by COVID-19 and the associated societal responses, exploring how human activity and regional land-based human movement patterns may have shifted in response to COVID-19, finding innovative ways to present and analyze integrated near real-time information about environmental factors affecting COVID-19 spread, and developing creative solutions that will help countries track COVID-19-related impacts on their progress towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. About the data provides information about every data set in the Pathfinder. The section provides the measurement taken by each of the sensors, as well as the spatial and temporal resolution. This information will be useful when determining which data set to use in your research. At what scale do you need, global, regional, or local? And how frequently do you need the data, daily, monthly? If you need some help in understanding spatial and temporal resolution, our What is Remote Sensing Backgrounder can help get you on your way. Use the data provides use cases on air quality, nighttime imagery, demographics, and water availability. The articles describe the use of NASA Earth observations and findings. Benefits and Limitations section provides insight into considerations when determining whether or not to use remote sensing data. For example, one of the benefits is that data are often provided in near real time. That is close to three hours after the satellite passes overhead. However, that data is not research quality. It is not gone through a rigorous calibration process, which takes more time. As such, if you are performing research that will be published, you may need to wait for the research quality data. See the difference here with MODIS cloud top temperature data. Another limitation is that many of the passive sensors cannot penetrate clouds and vegetation, leading to data gaps, as seen here with the aerosol optical depth from the MODIS sensor. Understanding the sensor, its capabilities, and your own research needs are imperative at the onset of your challenge design. The COVID-19 Data Pathfinder is divided into three sections, environmental impacts, seasonality, and water availability. Each section provides access to data that could be useful depending on the challenge you have selected. The environmental impacts section provides data and tools useful in detecting changes in air quality, nighttime lights, water quality, biological diversity, as well as socioeconomic data like population density and size. Seasonality provides data and tools on weather and climate variables such as temperature, humidity, and ultraviolet radiation that provide insight into conditions that may assist or hinder virus transmission. Water availability provides data and tools on environmental variables such as precipitation, soil moisture, and groundwater, which aid in our understanding of drought conditions that could impact water supply, critical during the pandemic. Let's explore the Find Environmental Impacts data section. Within each data section, there are three ways of accessing the data. Through Earth Data Search, you can access all of the data archived in NASA's Earth Observing System Data and Information System. By clicking on the link, you are taken directly to the data available for download. Here, you can specify criteria such as location or temporal constraints, narrowing down the available data. Most of the data are in HDF or NetCDF file formats. 
NASA has a tool panoply which allows you to visualize and explore the data. Through Giovanni, an online environment for the display and analysis of global geophysical parameters, you can create time average maps, monthly average maps, time series plots, and more. You can also choose time constraints, a location to narrow your results. Once the data are plotted, you can download the visualization as a GeoTIFF. Both Earth Data Search and Giovanni require you to have an Earth Data login, which is free for anyone. The third way is through WorldView, an online visualization application. You can access over 900 dataset image layers, many of which are near real time. You can compare images from one date to another and create time series animations. Accessing and visualizing the data, we used a number of different tools. I showed you three in this tutorial, however there are many more, depending on what you need to do with the data. The Tools for Data Access and Visualization section provides additional information on each of the tools and the functionality. As you begin your Space Apps Challenge focused on the COVID-19 pandemic, we hope finding and using NASA Earth Science data is intuitive with this new Data Pathfinder.